along Great Western Road. Yeah, there's something behind you, Brian. <laughs> it's a cake. What? That's insane. I like that flesh one. Bloody the vaginas. Mmm. <laughs> Everyone's shop window display game is on point. Look at it. Morning. Today is Thursday and I have all of the things to do today. So it's 11 o'clock. I have done my hair. I have done my makeup. Which may seem really shit to some of you who are morning people, but I am a night owl. Ooh. And I know that might seem, yeah, really rubbish, but yeah, I basically hate going to bed and I have all the stuff to do today. I've got up, I've got ready, and I'm away to go to the post office. Full hair and makeup, which um, makes me feel ready for whatever this day may bring to me today. So I need to go to the post office and hopefully pick up my new black tote bags. And I swear to God, if it is the specking postal tubes and not the tote bags that I have ordered, I'm gonna be raging. So I need to go do that. <clears throat> Please ignore the state of my room because that is another thing I need to do today because I need to clean this flat because it is feckin' dip. Then I need to make these tote bags if they are here. I suppose I can talk about it because by the time you are watching this, this will be the past. Yeah. So basically I am dropping a Sharon Needles design. Dropping. Who the hell do I think I am? Which is uh, going to be on black t-shirts and black tote bags. Um, t-shirts are ready to go, prints are ready to go, and these fucking tote bags have not arrived. So I need to go do that and then hopefully get those photographed and then I'll be able to get that all sorted. And upon Etsy and Facebook and whatever. And then I've got all the stuff to do, so I need to clean flat, I need to draw, I need to order more stuff. I just basically need to do all of the things today. I'm going to try and vlog most of the day and yeah. Pew, pew. Play with me! <laughs> play with me! <laughs> yes, play with him. I agree. It's a moment of truth. I don't think it's going to be postal tubes. Sweet baby Jesus! Yeah! Awesome. So chuffed. So my mum's there in Glasgow and we're just heading out for lunch. So much for me having a productive day. <laughs> so we're at Once Upon a Tart in Nurture City with my mum. Say hi. Um, and it's just the cutest little place ever. So nice. I had I totally forgot that my mum um, was coming through today, so that was really nice. Just a little thing for any of you who own cats, do they just go through phases of like hating you? Because like Bo's going through one at the moment. <clears throat> Look, what? Hello, beautiful Bo. Come here. Let me stroke you. Let me. Let me. Oh. She shall never comprehend the pain that it sends me. Boop! Ah, I just shot a shoe! Hee 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 hee. It's Bo's birthday soon. You're gonna be two! I've kept you alive for two years! Also, I'm really, really needing to get like a little camera if I'm going to be doing this forever because my arms are aching. <laughs> it must be easier for like autofocus and that type of thing rather than me spending like the entire time like this. Hello! I'm a vlogger! That was all. <laughs> right, so now I'm away off round to the post office because I got some orders to post and Ron's going to help me. I'll show you how cute my little postage bags are at the moment. Try and not show someone's address. Little polka dot bags. 
I think they're really cute. So we're down at the studio um, and we're just taking some pictures of the new Shire Needles t-shirts and tote bags. Et voila! I love them. I'll show you close it up um, later on in this video probably. But yeah, I went out all gothic for my makeup. So yeah, it's a bit crap, but <laughs> we have a thing called Photoshop these days. Um, so yeah, I just had a thought. I don't think I've ever really explained um, that Brian has a photography studio. So that's where we are just now. Um, it's called Studio Snap. Um, it's on 129 High Street in the Merchant City in Glasgow. And he's hammering away at a palette, which you can probably hear at the moment. It's a family photography business um, he opened about six months ago. So I'll leave a link in the description box on where you can find them on the internet things. So yeah, check them out if any of you in the Glasgow area have a family photography need. Oh my god, I look rotten. But yeah, if you've got any family photography needs, or if you know that your pal's having a baby soon, or maybe you just really want a photo of yourself to hang above your fireplace, hit them up. Good morning, it's... Saturday, <clears throat> hello, and I, I've just got lots of little chores to do today, I need to put too much clothes away. But I thought I would just quickly ask you, does anyone else have a problem with odd socks? Because like, what? Well it's keep, it's coming, it's still coming. What? Like, they, some of these are actually like new pairs of socks. I don't know how this happened. I am a turtle of sadness and I'm going to stay in here now. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> Are you in jail? Careful, you can get her all of the toys in the world and she'll just be content with the washing up basket. Hey Flipbud, yo, yo Bo, Bo, what up? Ow, <laughs> why don't you love me? So that is all of my chores and everything done. <laughs> So I thought I would sit down with the camera because I need to kind of, <clears throat> well I feel like I need to talk about a few things that have happened to me the past week that would be weird if I didn't mention them. But basically two major things have happened to me this week. One is bad and one is good. So I'll begin with the bad thing. On Thursday, literally an hour after I finished my last vlog, um, I was in a car crash. <laughs> Um, I was literally a second outside my house. I was going to go pick up Brian from an event that he was doing with his work. And uh, yeah, someone crashed into me. It's completely not my fault. I'm, I'm fine. Like I've got like a sore neck and back, but I'm fine. Like people keep reminding me like, yeah, you're unlucky that you're on a crash, Lindsay, but you're lucky that you're alive, Lindsay. I was like, okay, that's true. So yeah, basically, um, the car that I drive is a Ford car, <laughs> drove, that used to be, that used to belong to my granny and when she could no longer drive, it was given, like it was passed down to me and then obviously it's got a lot of sentimental value to me now because she's no longer with us. It's the first car that I drove since I passed my test, like when I was 18 and you know, that was like 35 years ago or whatever. And then, yeah, it's been written off. <laughs> I'm so, so sad, but yeah, it's, it's a bit, I don't know, like it's not, like I'm not a materialistic person at all, I think it's just, it does hurt so much because it was my granny's, but then my mum made a point in saying that if she was still with us, she would have traded it in like two cars ago, <laughs> so I feel a bit better about that. I've got a higher car at the moment and it is like it's a wee hire car well no it's not me it's like driving it's like driving a tank like genuinely i'm like out of the way 
everyone, I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine, like, I'm a safe driver, but that's the time, like, inside of my head, like, just like, <laughs> but inside I'm like, ah! I'm gonna wait till, like, all the insurance and stuff is settled, and then I'll hopefully be able to get myself a replacement car. But God knows what that's going to be like because my car was was worth like loads of obviously sentimental value but zero money. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Basically, I just thought it'd be weird if I hadn't like spoken about it. And um, so the next part um, is a uh, good thing. We found a flat. It is the most gorgeous flat. I have ever seen. Like it is unbelievable. Like it's. Ugh. I can't wait to show you, obviously. Um, we're gonna be moving in like in December time. So that gives us like at least a full month, like a chunk to kind of like get ourselves mentally prepared for moving. And um, like obviously like cleaning out this place and oh God, so nice. Like it's got two bedrooms, so I've got a space for like doing classy birds and everything like that, rather than it like spilling like all over the bedroom and living room and hall. <laughs> really excited, really, really excited. Like it's so nice. It's not on the West End anymore. It's actually just South Side, but like, oh God, it's so beautiful. Really, really excited. So I can't wait to like be able to vlog all of our moving experience and everything like that. So. Yeah, really exciting. I have almost completed all of my Cinderella tasks. I've made a stew. What? Um, I've actually like made it from scratch and it's like in the slow cooker. Who am I? Also, I really love the fact that the clocks are going back tonight. I've been obviously trying to get up earlier and stuff this week and like feel like I've been total boss in it. Now I'm getting an extra hour. Like a day's gonna last for like a week. Something. Just checking on my baby. Can you open it? Can I open a bad thing. Is this gonna ruin it forever? Oh my god. Mm. Winter food. You have arrived. <laughs> so yeah, it's six hours later and the stew is ready. Are you excited? I hope you've got me above the waist and in my pants. The only problem is is that part of, of the slow cooker, like the handles came off, but the other part, which is obviously on the underside of the lid, is now in the stew. Hmm. Right, let's see if I can... That'll do. <laughs> Look at it. If only I gave everything in my life this much care and attention. Yes, boys. It looks totally crap, but I made it. I made it with my hands. I don't think it's going to taste very nice. Did you like my stew, Brian? Yeah. I didn't get the, the handle. Didn't get the handle. So I'm happy. It's like one in the water. Thanks. Are you smelling the fillers? Oh, bye then. <laughs> so the stew was fine. We've been just sitting with wine and now we're watching the Annie Joshua fight. So he's won 19 out of 19 by Walker. And this guy has won, what did I say? 35 or 33 or something. 35 out of 35? No, 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 no. He's lost them. Oh. Three or something. But, yeah, I don't know. I read somewhere, he's not the biggest fighter, but. The jab and effective weapon for Joshua has made a lot of progress. And that's a catch and shoot right there. You'll see, you'll see Joshua catch the hook here and then shoot right back with his own hook. Oh, in fact, like 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also even an apple cone. We're talking about that. What did I just say? Halloween 2017. Uh oh, catchphrase. <laughs> you ruined my Halloween! It's a great position to keep himself balanced enough to be able to shoot that counter. We watched the fight, um, it was really good, I think. I'm having to be quite quiet because Brian's in bed, but I thought um, I need to share this with you. Um, for any of you who are watching Stranger Things, um, like the second season, we've not actually started watching it yet, but I think I'd be more freaked out if we had started watching it 
Right, so we've got these fairy lights around the window and they've got like different settings but we always just have it on like that. Um, and this was the party. But they just started flashing. And I'm kind of creeped out a bit. Like they've stopped now, but they just randomly started flashing. I went and checked like, the little clicky thing that you can click to change the settings, and it hadn't moved, it hadn't dropped or anything like that. And yeah, I'm just kind of freaked out now. And I need to go to bed, but I'm too scared. I'm too scared of the upside down. <laughs> but yeah, I think I am going to go to bed soon. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Or next time I film stuff. <laughs> night night. Hello, so I haven't really um, vlogged the past few days. Today's now, pff, don't know, Friday, I think. And um, yeah. I've just, we've been really, really busy doing stuff that I can't be putting into vlogs. So basically, Brian has got a job where he's doing the main school photos for a whole primary school. And it's one of the biggest primary schools in Fife. So obviously I was helping him out with it and it's like, there was like 600 children or something. So yeah, we've been through in and um, couldn't really film anything there. And then once we were done photographing, we were basically just eating and then sleeping and then going to bed and then waking up and doing it again. That's it all done now and I can kind of get back to classy bird stuff. Um, I'll wait to go into town and drop off a print, um, a commission, um, which I'll probably show you later on in this video, um, to a girl called Kirsty and uh, she owns a vintage shop which is going to be pretty cool so I'm going to go check that out and I need to go pick up some bloody postal tubes because apparently the people, the company who deliver them don't ring your buzzer or leave a calling card. So I've been on the hunt for these postal tubes and I've got so many Etsy orders of prints who are like just waiting, all, like need to be posted today and I've got no tubes. So I think I found the company and it's in the middle of George Square and I'm so dubious. Dubious? Dubious? I don't know. So I'm gonna wait to go do that. Um, but also, most excellent hair day today. today until this thing that has just happened and I feel like I need to vent my anger somewhere. So basically I have like, I'm having to film first of all on my phone because Brian's got all the memory cards. Um, I went to the post office and it was a Saturday and I was like, oh my god, it's an early pickup on Saturday. Um, let me just have a seat. I'm so out of breath. Right, so I need to go drop everything off. Um, collections at like 25 past one. Um, so I left at one, plenty of time to walk around because I only live like three minutes away from the post office. And then got to the front of the queue and I was like, hi, um, got loads to post um, and literally have the most orders to post that I've ever had before. Something like eight parcels, six tubes. So, and he was just like, oh, well, I'm away to pick up my bearings soon. So um, you're gonna have to come back later. And I was like, but it gets picked up in like 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, sorry, I'm just filling in for someone else. I'm like, but this is the post office. Like, <laughs> like I know it sounds like I'm just kind of, I don't know, being a bit pernickety and stuff, but I heavily, heavily rely on the post office so that customers can get orders. And he's telling me that he can't because he has to go pick up his child. Like that's that's not right. And especially the one thing the thing that annoys me most as well is that I um when I'm away to go to the post office on Etsy, there's a button that you can click to say shit. So I do that just before I'm leaving the house. So I'm like, right, so and so is getting delivered to such and such, or such and such is getting delivered to so and so. Um put it in the bag, right, shit. So all these things are shipped 
but they're not and they're sitting in my feckin' haul. Which is really annoying because if it's a Saturday post then that means that it will usually get to the people by Monday. And I'm just really sad now. <sighs> but I, yeah, I was just like standing there like, but, like, what? <laughs> and he was just like, I was like, but, uh, uh, <clears throat> So, today is not going well. Um, also, that's not the right time. It's too high and the clocks have went back and I've not changed it. So, yeah. Now I need to go to my job, the job that I'm supposed to be like leaving soon. Um, but I'm having to go back and train more staff up because someone let us down and blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to be there till about half nine tonight. Not a good day. So yeah, I wasn't going to vlog, but I just needed to vent because Brian's not here and yeah. No, I'm going to have lunch and um... <laughs> Also, reason 596 of why Lindsay is raging today. But yeah, basically the post office that I was going to go to also has a subway in it. I didn't get a subway. That was my plan. But yeah, I just stormed out like, <laughs> You're not getting any of my custom today! No! And now I'm hungry. <laughs> Hungry. Hello. So today is Sunday and I don't feel very well. As you could probably tell, just being a little bit dramatic. This vlog has been a bit of a chatty one. Um, I've not really been up to anything that exciting. Just kind of been working a lot. And obviously if I'm drawing then I can't really be doing that. But I was thinking about maybe getting like a video software or something and maybe like video whilst I draw if that would be something that people would be interested in um let me know if that would be something you're interested in um so I'm gonna end this vlog um showing you the commissions um that I've been working on this week I can't hear properly and I don't know if it's because I'm under this or no I think my ears are going also, I'm going for a middle parting today. I don't know how I feel about it. I used to wear middle partings all the time, but whatever. So, where were we? Yes, commissions. Uh, and it's going to pop up on the screen now. So this one is a commission that I have done for Kirsty. You saw me drop it off. I went to her vintage shop um, to drop it off. It's of her friends Paul and Katie and they just got engaged. Um, so it's a lovely photo of them um, with her engagement ring so I added a little bit of sparkles to make that all cute and her favourite flowers are hydrangeas apparently added them in as well took me a little while to try and figure out the composition because obviously my classy bird flowers are quite flat and I had to add tone to the hydrangeas so you're able to tell that they're hydrangeas basically um, but yeah I thought it was pretty cute um, I'm quite chuffed with this one back to me my camera ran out of uh, memory. I was also said that I was going to show you my Sharon Needles t-shirts. Um, well, I'll show you the digital image first, so I'll show you that now. Ta -da! Um, and yeah, and I'll show you the t-shirts. I feckin' love these t-shirts. I'm so happy with them. Just the quality, because with my white t-shirts, like, the quality of them is unreal, because the t-shirts are actually dyed the colour rather than the colour being laid on top so I didn't know how it was going to be with this black uh, with the black t-shirts but they are freaking amazing like I'll show you now so if you look here you can see like the individual letters and they're so crisp like they are oh I'm so happy with them and then like the cobwebs and just like the colour of her skin really really like them um so yeah Back to me now. So yeah, um, we are back through to Dunfermline in about well in a few hours once this is uploaded because Brian is taking all of the proofs to the primary school that we took the photos up for. So he's got like five hundred or whatever it is and sorting all them out. So we're just going. We're he's going tomorrow morning. So we're going through to my mum's tonight and having some dinner, and um, which will be really nice. Yeah, again, apologies that it's been a bit of a boring vlog. Sometimes I like boring vlogs where literally watching people like put away clothes. 
which I actually think you did see me do this vlog. Um, yeah, uh, next week I am not working at my other job at all next week. So it's going to be a full on classy bird. I might try and vlog a, like a little bit every day. Who knows? So I'm just going to upload this. Probably sit in this for the rest of the day. Um, look at it. It's so fluffy. I'm as cute as a button. So important links down below are Studio Snap. Uh, check out Kirsty's shop, uh, Rip It Up. Um, was there anything else I've got links to? There'll be like classy bird stuff like sprinkled down below as well. So yeah, thanks for watching if you're still watching this far. Um, it's been a bit of a long boring one, but whatever. Peace out, motherfucker.